In this video, we will simplify the following block diagram. This block diagram represents a control system with two inputs. The first input is the set point or the reference signal R, and the second input is the measurement noise N. By superposition, or using the rules discussed in the previous video, the output Y is made up of two parts. Part 1 is produced by the reference signal R and when the measurement noise is set to 0 whereas part 2 is produced by the measurement noise and when the reference signal R is set to 0 Let us set the measurement noise N equals to 0 in order to find part 1 or the first component of the output Y We will start first by finding the transfer function of the feedback loop on the right hand side According to rule 5, in the block diagram reduction rules discussed in the previous video, a summing point, while simplifying, can be shifted to the left. However, I do anticipate a question whether a summing point could be shifted to the right instead. For this reason, I will be solving part 1, i.e. the first solution component of Y, in two ways. This is same as moving the block S plus 2 to the left hand side. Now we end up with a negative feedback loop on the right hand side and two blocks in parallel on the left hand side. Simplifying those we get the following. Then we end up with two blocks in series and sorting this out we will get the first part of the output Y when the measurement noise is set to zero. Let us solve part 1, the first component of the solution Ys, in a different way. In the previous method, we have moved the summing point on the left to the right hand side. Now, instead, we will be moving the right summing point to the left, i.e. moving the S plus 2 block to the right hand side. Using the ninth block diagram reduction rule, we will combine the two summing points as shown here. Or alternatively, you can rearrange as follows. Here, in this case, 
you would have the 0.5s over s plus 2 block in parallel with a block of 1. These can be sorted or added together and on the left hand side you also have two blocks in parallel which are the 2 over s plus 2 block and the block of 1. The resulted block diagram shown here can be further simplified. First by simplifying the right hand side. The resulted block diagram can be further simplified. For example, on the right hand side, we can apply the negative feedback loop rule. Then we end up with two blocks in series. A multiplication of these two blocks will give us the first part or part 1, which is the first component of the output Y. You will notice that this result is the same as obtained previously. Let's find the second component or part 2 of the output boy. In part 2 we need to set the set point or the reference signal R to 0. Setting R to 0 we get the following. You will notice that the two blocks, the 0.5s and the s plus 2, are in parallel. The negative sign at the summing point can be replaced by a block of minus 1. Or alternatively, we can shift the minus sign at the summing point to the next summing point in series. We can only do this in this case, i.e. shifting the minus sign of the summing point to the other one in series, since we have no other inputs, i.e. the set point or the reference signal R is set to 0. Rearranging and applying the negative feedback loop rule, we can simplify the block diagram into a single transfer function.
this transfer function is the second part solution of y. Therefore, the full solution of y now is simply part 1 plus part 2.